Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt from the last video because I'm recording them only a few minutes apart. Don't judge, I'm not a scrub and I'm not wearing clothes multiple days in a row during the work week. Anyway, I am very excited about tonight's video. We're gonna talk about Clownfish TV and Crimson Rim Volume 1. Um, I've been following Clownfish for years and I think that they're doing an absolutely fantastic job uh, talking about a lot of the business aspects and a lot of the moves and that are happening with some of these larger media companies, the Western media companies. And instead of uh, just talking about it all the time, they're actively working on doing their own comic books. These are people who've worked in the industry. I freaking love their channel. They're absolutely fantastic. Before we get into that, tonight's drink is uh, coconut water. I hate it. I hate coconut water. I hate coconut water, but I have been super fatigued lately, and this stuff is like a miracle freaking elixir. It's ridiculous. I hate this stuff. I hate it. I hate it. It's nasty, but I need it because it helps me feel better. And without any further ado, let's get into Crimson Wren Volume 1. All right, here we go on their Indiegogo page. Uh, uh, Crimson Wren Volume 1 from Clownfish Studios. A classic 1980s style adventure with comedy and a heart and animated style. 130 plus page hardcover comic. That is insane. Um, one of the things that really uh, just made me want to check this out is when they started kind of putting some artwork out there for this. And I was like, wait a minute, that looks really fun. This is a prequel to their Shadowbinders series that are series. They have a couple of books out, but this is a prequel to their Shadowbinders thing. And they said that they wanted to go like the Goonies, uh, like a very 1980s. These are, these are people who grew up in the eighties, all the cartoons of the eighties, and they wanted to pay homage to that in their books. And so that's what they are doing right now. Um, the thing that catches me the most is I'm going to scroll down here is all this artwork down here. Okay. Showing their sample pages. And the thing that I get from a lot of this is one of my favorite. It, it gives vibes of one of my favorite animated movies of all time. And that is treasure planet. Treasure planet is such an underrated movie and is one of the best animated feature films that has ever come out and this reminds me of treasure planet this is what treasure planet looks like in comic book form to me and i think that all these sample images are fantastic we're going to get magic and mystery and adventure and we're just gonna and this is something that i think that like i could have my kids read too so I'm very excited for this. Obviously, we can see the select a perk over here on the right side. Crimson Ren plus Shadow Binders Volumes 1 and 2 for $100. So that's three books for $100. Um, 63 out of 1,000 claimed. Oh, boy. I hope I can get the $100. I'm, I'm strapped for cash right now. Ugh, I would love to. I would absolutely love to. But I don't know if I can. Uh, $5 just to help support them. $10 to help support them. Or $40 USD for the book. Um, and then $65 for that plus five prints. Ooh, that could be interesting. And so on and so forth. And they have different various ways that you can support them doing this comic. Now, I think that having a Goonies-like Treasure Planet merger is utterly fantastic. I know that Treasure Planet wasn't necessarily 80s, but that I tell me that this does not look like treasure planet. That's what gets me so excited about this because I saw this and I was like, wait a minute, hold on this. This looks like it's right up my alley. Now, if you have read their uh, previous editions, which I have not, but they have said openly on their YouTube channel, this is kind of a prequel to their precursor editions. And I absolutely love what they are doing and what they are trying to accomplish um classic uh clownfish studios is bringing you a classic 80s style adventure it's like the goonies on an airship also like treasure planet and if clownfish tv if you guys see this 
I'm not dogging on you at all. The fact that it looks like one of my favorite like animated movies ever, I hope you guys know how excited that makes me. I doubt Clownfish TV will ever see this. This channel is much too small. I, they probably have no idea I even exist or that I even follow them because I don't do a lot of commenting online. I don't do a lot of live chatting online. I'm more of a lurker than I am, you know, an engager. And that's just how I am online. I like some videos here and there, but not too very often. Uh, and I also don't use the A Drink With Crazy account as my primary. I have another account that I've had for years and years and years that just... I already paid for that one. I have literally subscribed to everything on that one, and I don't want to have to create a new account and then have to resubscribe and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. All right, the details of full color, six inch by nine inch hardcover graphic novel, over 130 pages long. I think $40 for a hardcover graphic novel like this is going to be, I I think that 40 bucks is, is, is perfectly acceptable. The prequel to Shadow Bind to the Shadow Binders webcomic. Oh, that's right. It was a webcomic. That's how they started. Yeah, I do remember that. And uh, Crimson Wren of the True North is uh, uh, part one of a two-part story. So they're going to have a part two to this. And this is another one of those Iron Age books. And hopefully they accept that they uh, the, the Iron Age mantra that, you know, that um, Razor Fist came up with. Because I think that they are a part of the Iron Age. They are getting away from these major companies. We're not the Golden Age anymore. We're not the Silver Age. We already passed the Dark Age of the 80s and everything that we did there. And now we're stepping into the storytelling that's getting away from the large corporate entities and getting back to kind of how the original Golden Age comics started. Just a couple of people writing a story, trying to have fun. And I am absolutely thrilled and excited about this uh, th th this book. Um, I will be doing my best to get the funds to purchase it. I would like to purchase it plus Shadow Binders because I would like to actually do all of them in a comics explained style video. That is going to be a big thing for the channel. I'm going to be going in that direction once I get my books. I already have the Rip Reverse Isom number one on the way. I already have Truth, Justice, American Way from Gabe El Tayyib. Whenever that one gets ready to, to send out, that one's on the way. I will be covering that. And then I absolutely plan on covering this book as well. Um, and like I said, I'm just hoping to be able to have the funds to purchase it before the 31 days left is over because, well, they're already at their goal. And I just want to, I want to do this. I want to cover these guys. I want to be that channel that's like, hey, I am the Iron Age Comics Explained. That guy completely disagrees with my politics. I don't care. He's got a fantastic channel. When he's just covering the comic books and the stories, channel's fantastic. I don't care. He's fun. He's engaging. I would have a beer with that guy. I don't know if he would have a beer with me because, again, politically, we don't align. I don't care. Comics Explained, He's he he has covered a lot of videos that I have... I have enjoyed. So, what do you guys think? How do you guys feel about this Crimson Ren Volume 1 from Clownfish TV uh, and Clownfish Studios? They're calling them Clownfish Studios, but Clownfish TV. How do you guys feel about them releasing this? And this just, like, it's totally in a different vein. It's fantasy, it's mystery, it's steampunk, it's treasure freaking planet in the Goonies. That's what this is. It's treasure freaking planet. It's Oh my God. And I am excited. And I, I can show my kids this book and read this book to them. Like the other books, I don't know if my kids would be into, but they might be into this book. And I think that that's something that I am super excited for. As a father, I am constantly looking for things that I, I am excited for my children to read. And I hope that they would be into something like this. And I'm I, the artwork is just, it pops. It's so great. It screams just a fantastic adventure style that's the kids are going on an adventure and and discovering the world and that is something hugely important if you are a parent and you have kids move to an area where your kids can go explore the world that's kind of what i did and it's something that is hugely important and i think that it's also important for children to explore the world in their minds and i am hoping that my children uh, when I buy this book, love this book as much as I hope to love this book and as much as I hope that they love this book. But this is my first impressions. I'm excited. Let's get some rock on to the Iron Age. And thank you all so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. And I look forward to seeing you all next time right here on A Drink With Crazy. Oh, and apparently I'm supposed to tell people to subscribe. But I'll see you guys next time on A Drink With Crazy. And I guess I'll definitely see you if you subscribe.
So thank you all so much. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.